Faim Khan is uh, with me, Vice President of uh, Survey Solutions at Leica Geosystems. Welcome and uh, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me, Andrew. We'll um, talk how reality capture technologies uh, delivers high levels of accuracy, automation and the ability to create uh, 3D environments in a matter of minutes. Um, first, very general question. Um, what is 3D reality capture? Uh, 3D reality capture is really a collection of sensor and software technology uh, with corresponding workflows that enable many industries to leverage um, the combination of these uh, capabilities to produce digital twins, to produce uh, rich reality information that underpins the usefulness uh, of the deliverables for, for, the, for the various use cases that we see in public safety, in power process, in marine, in, in surveying, of course. Um, it's a very exciting evolution um, of um, our survey heritage. And now please t uh, tell us about the main trends uh, at the moment. Uh, there are many trends. Um, all of these trends are really driving this rapid adoption that we see uh, uh, of this technology in the industry. Um, multi, multi folds increase in adoption. Um, these trends really can be summarized in, in three, I would say. One uh, primarily is driven out of the productivity increase that we see with the platforms that are available today. We always use the example of our first platform, which was 800 measurement points per second, and the platform today measures 2 million points per second, so that's, that's a tremendous increase in productivity. At the same time, costs have come down tremendously, so it's useful as a result of this as a driver for people who want this, consumers of the data, as well as producers of the data. It's, it's much more cost effective to acquire the data uh, for both um, uh, spectrum of that ecosystem. Uh, simplicity is another big uh, implication um, uh, to everyone's day-to-day uh, -day operation. If technology is, is, is great, it's cost effective, it's productive, but it's very complicated, it also affects adoption. But then we've seen that um, also come, um, we've seen a significant progress in, in that area as well in terms of simplicity of the technology. How is reality capture shaping uh, transformation across industries? We talk about transformation um, in so many industries these days. Um, uh, you walk through different uh, airports. I think the poster saying digital transformation appears everywhere. And um, we definitely see reality capture being a strong enabler um, for many industries in their digital transformation journey. Uh, we see, again, let's use public safety as an example. Um, gone are the days where you use uh, pen and paper to document a crime scene. Now you use reality capture to, to freeze the crime scene uh, forever to revisit the crime scene. In power process in industry, you use that digital reality as a uh, living uh, 3D model um, of the facility so you can run your operations management more effectively and so on and so forth. It's, it's really a, a underlying horizontal layer of technology that enables transformation. Can you give us an example how customers are mixing and matching reality capture technologies to achieve final project goals? I would say our, our geospatial customers who uh, are um, everywhere at Intergeo would be a perfect example of users who leverage um, all of the tools that are now available to their, uh, in, their, in their toolkit to enable this fusion of reality to serve that final business goal. This facility is a good example. It's multi-storied. There's, there's roof. Uh, there are un, un, uh, in, interior facilities. You really want to leverage things that can be mounted on flying tripods, UAVs. Uh, things that can be pushed on a trolley, things can be mounted on, on classical tripod, really leveraging all the sensor fusion capabilities to paint this uh, environment in 3D. Um, and our geospatial customers are experts at this. What are you showing? What are the innovations? Uh, there are um, many innovations. Um, uh, this is, in fact, um, a very interesting uh, situation that we're in in the industry. There's a significantly higher pace of innovation introduction that we've seen uh, compared to years in the past. Um, I, I can, the, the list is too long. I can give you a couple of highlights. Um, uh, we are introducing, um, we introduced the BLK to go at our um, Hexagon Live annual user conference. Uh, at Intergear, we take this to Europe. Um, this is a technology that really now uh, further takes the BLK um, journey for forward. Um, a, a highly effective mobile mapping, um, handheld mobile mapping system that produces 3D reality capture in minutes. Um, we're introducing Cyclone 3DR, which is the corresponding piece of software, if you like, that takes advantage of all the data that's captured through smarter workflows, smarter automation to produce useful deliverables for different industries. Uh, two highlights, but there's a long list. 
Okay. Um, how are Leicard Geo Systems uh, point cloud processing solutions positioned across industries? We really try to be more domain focused. Uh, we try to um, deliver solutions that are in the right uh, language in terms of um, the capabilities uh, or in terms of understanding the market needs. Uh, when it's a language, I mean more the domain non uh, language that needs to be spoken. If I'm a public safety officer, I want to look at evidence, not a uh, control point, for instance. So it's, it's very domain focused. So there are solutions for different uh, verticals that we serve, for surveying, for engineering, for um, uh, for public safety and, and, and so on. And that's really how we try to address the market, to be more domain focused uh, in the solution offering that we provide. And uh, where is reality capture going in the future and how is uh, Hexagon leading the way? I think this event is a perfect example that the uh, reality capture is seeing this explosive growth and I would only see this uh, trend to continue. Um, I, we, we are a strong part in that uh, growth uh, drive and uh, you can count on us to continue to improve uh, the technology for existing users to improve productivity and to int introduce new classes of technology that opens up new markets and new possibilities. Um, so those trends that I mentioned, speed and, and simplicity and, and productivity are only going to continue. Uh, and I think the ultimate uh, end result would be much better ROI um, as it is already today. Fahim Khan, thank you for joining us Pleasure. today thank and uh, thank you for watching. Bye.